Hola! So if you've read the title, today I'm going to show you how to make coconut milk. I'm using USDA organic young Thai coconuts. You can find these at natural food stores or I'm sure you can order them. So first you're going to need some empty coconuts. We're going to use about two coconuts to fulfill the amount of liquid that we're going to need, but I don't think two co the meat in two coconuts is going to be enough to make a rich white coconut milk. I think if you used the meat of just the two coconuts that you used to make the milk with, I think that you run a chance of your milk not being so white. It might be cloudy, um, but it might not be that rich white color that we all know idealistically milk should look like. So I have a few extra coconuts that I've already drank and have not took the meat out. So I'm going to show you guys how to retrieve the meat from them. Um, and you got to be comfortable with the knife. As you can see, this knife is pretty damaged um, from the amount of use that I've, you know, done with the coconut. But yeah, and let's see, these coconuts are not so large, but I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks on how I make this work for me. Okay, so now we get to opening the coconut. I don't have the biggest hands, um, and these are already trimmed, like those, like those green coconuts you see, yay high up in the tropics. These are it. They've just been trimmed, um, and maybe some other things done to it too. <laughs> um, nonetheless, the water in there is safe. You know, I'm trusting. I can tell my taste buds will not lie to me. And so, anyways. Simply put, what I do to these, now this isn't too large because sometimes you get some really big coconuts and I'm grateful for those because they fill up a lot of water. So these ones are not too much to the point where I can't handle it, but I'm going to show you guys a tip on what I do if you have small hands like I do um, on how to make the coconut a little bit easier to handle. So you get a ceramic knife as I spoke about earlier. This is probably the only thing you could use a ceramic knife for with dealing with coconuts. So cutting the sides off basically you're just making it you're just making the width of the coconut um, not as wide so if you have small hands it's easier to grip it because the most important thing to keep in mind when you're cutting a coconut is you want to make sure you have a good grip sometimes when you don't the coconut will just fall out of your hand and ultimately you just you just want to make sure you have a firm hold on that. You know, you're whacking a heavy duty knife at it. You want to make sure that there's no mishaps. So, and it makes it look kind of cooler too, I think. So now it's a lot easier for me to hold and let's get to it. And when you cut, you don't want to just hit it straight. I hold it to the side and I hold, and I cut it like if I'm trying to scrape something off but you want to actually give it a, you know, that's how you do it. Try to open on me. So once it's nice and bald on the top like that, that's when you know it's ready to hit. And then that's when you go for the corner, the little edge right here. That's mainly what you hit it with and just boom. Other side, boom, that's how you go at it. So 
So this is ready to pop off. A little white head right here, a little bald head. And how I usually go for it is I'll just poke it with a ceramic, carve it out, and just put it in. Ah, first thing on the stomach so far. And then we got one more coconut to do and we're going to put the meat inside of the blender and show you guys how we do this. You are going to need a cheesecloth, or also known as a nut milk bag. A blender. Coconut meat. Coconut wadas. Two coconuts ideally. A large and preferably flexible bowl to pour the milk in. I personally never want to start off too aggressive. I like to be kind of on the gentle side with it. I figured if you're too aggressive at first, you might exhaust your benefits. So just easy, take it easy, start it slow. You'll see it's still milking. <laughs> this is the only thing we should be milking. comes a point in time where you feel like you've gave all you can so put it down and you can use the pulp mm. and so there you have it fresh organic raw coconut milk you could use this for smoothies drink by itself i know if you're fasting and you're not trying to lose too much weight this is a perfect drink to incorporate and yeah let me know in the comments what you guys do with this how easy was it for you guys much love i look forward to doing more things like this peace and blessings